What's up guys, welcome back to the show, go back to another video, and in today's video, you guys already know, we got the new wrap over here for the E36 M3, so I actually plan on wrapping this car, mainly because the roof, yeah, it's kind of faded, it's the only thing on the car that doesn't look too good, I could have honestly just wrapped it black, but honestly, I, I, I just wanted to give this whole car a new color, because basically, this car looks pretty good, but in the grand scheme of things, it, it just, it just, black is not an amazing color, it doesn't really stand out, it doesn't look that great, especially if you don't have a complimenting colored interior, and the inside it just looks really dull in my opinion so i was like you know what i still want to keep this kind of a classy car because it is an e36 m3 and for me i've always had a thing for this color you guys are about to see and actually i've done this color before on an m3 before so that probably gives you guys all the hints right there but the crazy thing about this video is the fact that i actually didn't pay for this vinyl i probably ordered a total of probably like 20 rolls in my life for like 20 different cars um, I, I'm probably over exaggerating that, but I mean, I ordered so many rolls. I've, I've tried 3M, I've tried Avery, I've tried Vivid, I've tried Hexus, I tried Cheetah. I've tried probably so many other different brands um, that you know I'm pretty experienced. I feel like on the material feeling and how it works and everything. This company is a, a company that reached out to me. It looks like they're pretty new. They're called. Vi and uh, they said, do you want to try out a roll? So I checked out their color variation and they actually had that color that I wrapped my first ever M3 in. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it, let's do it. Well, the first thing is that stand could be a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie. If there's anything I could say to improve. But this is, bro, that looks good. That does look good. That looks nice, dude. That looks like, oh, that's such a subtle and gray. That's, so this is a different Nardo gray. Um, they have two different Nardo grays. This is a different one than my first E36 M3, but this is like a nice, Classy Nardo Gray. Look at this wrapping too. This sticker. Okay, so that's another thing I actually kind of like. And again, this stuff is just the details. Now, obviously, if the wrap is bad, this doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but if it's good, that is nice because all the other companies you just put like some simple like masking tape on there to kind of seal it up. That looks pretty good, bro. Um, the wrap feels really nice. It looks like it has a gloss finish. It looks like it also has a protective coating. So there is a uh, film on the top of it to prevent scratches as well, which is what all the newer companies like 3M and Avery is doing. So, so far, quite impressed. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this prepped up, guys. Sit you guys down and get out this wrap and hope for the best. I'm hoping this wrap is good, because like I said, guys, I was gonna order wrap no matter what. The fact that this company reached out to me, I'm pretty excited about it, and I cannot wait to try it out. Dude, the color looks amazing. Looks pretty like, good. It's gonna, I think the car is gonna look really, really good with this color. All right, guys, so honestly, we tried working on the wrap. Everything I mentioned earlier in this video, so if it looks a little chopped up up until this point, it's because I cut out the company name. I'm not a huge fan of talking down companies, um, especially since they were you know, so nice to send me out this wrap. I'm just not gonna advertise something that I honestly do not like. Uh, this wrap, the way it was packaged, the way it was presented, everything was honestly really good. And like really, I think they like put a lot of money into the packaging and the way they actually have this wrap secured. It looks really nice when we took it really, out. It really like really high end, honestly. Yeah. Um, but my problem is right now, it is a little cold. It is a little cold today, but with heat, um, it shouldn't be difficult to pull stretch and like, like you know, kind of implement it in any, like, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but to get it where you want it to go, it shouldn't take much force with a little bit of heat. This required a lot of heat and so like right now, I just laid it down. It shouldn't, be, it shouldn't need to be that hard to pick it up. Anyway, long story short, um, just to give you guys kind of a representation of wrap, um, I've had uh, Vivid be before. I guess I'm, I'm gonna mention those companies real quick. Uh, Vivid, uh, they're not bad. They're thick. This is thick. Pretty much, honestly, the same thickness as Vivid. With Vivid, when you peeled it up and when you heated it, it actually stretched to where I want it to stretch. So it did have a negative way, uh, a negative, I guess, thing you can say, uh, which is the fact that it's thick, but on the positive side, it actually stretched. Hexus, on the other hand, kind of reminds me of this. 
um, because Hexus, when it came around to like edges and stuff and mirrors and bumpers, it started peeling up literally the next day because it was super hard to get it down in the first place that literally after some cold hits it, it starts peeling out. And I'm sure we can actually wrap this entire car. Like you guys saw, we wrapped half this hood already, but half this hood, 30 to 45 minutes. It shouldn't take 30 to 45 minutes to do half of it. A hood should honestly take us 45 minutes to complete it with all the edges, cuts and everything. So again, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of uh, talking down on any company. Honestly, I really wanted this to work out. It's the first company that ever sent me out free vinyl and I was very excited and I was hoping there could be a long-term relationship and you know we can work together. But honestly, I know we can make this work. Is it worth making it work? No. So I honestly just, I, I don't want to link it and I don't want you guys purchasing it. I don't want you guys like, you guys see how easy it is for us to wrap a car then you guys end up getting this film and it's really difficult because honestly, for the first film, if you guys are wrapping for the first time, dude, we you this will make you so discouraged. This will make you think that wrapping is impossible. You and me, we wrapped like thirty cars. We could probably get this done, but the amount of time and like yeah. And like, again, if this was off video, honestly, me and my brother probably would have done it. If we didn't have the deadline, like you know, trying to get this car done in like five or six days or whatever, me and my brother would have done it. We would have took our time doing it. But what I'm trying to say is for the, for you guys, for me to like promote it and tell you guys, hey, you should get this. That is what I'm not going to do because if you guys think about it. If this is your first time wrapping a car, you're gonna be awfully discouraged and be like, yo, wrapping is so hard, I'm gonna leave it to a professional. Honestly, if you get 3M or Avery or even Cheetah, bro, Cheetah's Cheetah like is the, good. New, the new brand for like cheap, it's like 400 bucks for an entire roll. You can, it's really easy. It's really easy. So, um, anyhow, every brand has their negatives and positives. This one just has a little too many negatives for me to promote, unfortunately, but the positives, the wrapping, yo. All the other companies need to package their wrap the same way this company did. I think the problem with this company is that they too, put too much money into the actual packaging <laughs> rather than the film itself. Um, but anyhow, that is unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and just... Oh, that hurts, bro. I'm unfortunately gonna have to just unwrap this thing, uh, repackage the wrap, send it back to the company. And I think what else we're gonna just do, I think that's gonna be the title of this video, is gonna be putting on Corolla Reef. So that's the next thing you actually want to do to this car. Um, at first, was gonna be the wrap. I wanna do the full color change before putting on coilovers, but I think we're just gonna slap on the coilovers because I think that's just what needs to be done. And after about an hour of cleaning up and getting it ready for the next modification, we have the MTS coilovers. You guys already know, um, yes, I already did the coilovers on the 335 IS and they were absolutely amazing for the money, guys. For $600 um, for the 335 IS shipped, I, I think I actually paid less than like 550 or something shipped. And then these guys, I think are only like 400 or 450 shipped. So for this car, it was like 400, or I, actually, I think they were like 500 shipped. 500 shipped, um, but I mean, that's a really, really, really good deal for some good Good coilovers and I already know these are good because I have them on 335 IS which I've been dailying recently and it's been honestly amazing. So without further ado let's go ahead and work on the rears again like last time. I did the rears last time on the 335 IS first and then we'll go ahead and do the fronts just because I just kind of like that. I mean if you do the fronts first because you have to compress all the shocks and everything you kind of get tired you don't even want to do the rears. So let's go ahead and just do the rears first. So for those of you guys who recently watched the 335 IS get its lowering uh, I mean the coilovers here are the struts for the rear. These are the springs for the rear. These are the shocks for the front. Front. I will need to use the top hat for my original springs on this one and I believe these are for the rears as well So uh, we do need to assemble it and I believe these are the adjusting things Yeah, so these actually put them on the springs on the top and you can actually adjust it So yeah, we got everything right here. We got the two screws to lock that. Yep. We're good to go Look at me. I know what everything does nowadays. Let's go ahead and just start working on the rear
just like that guys we got the coilovers pretty much dialed in this is honestly the perfect fitment for me on an e36 now some people honestly like it a little bit more lowered where it's pretty much touching against the fender honestly guys i'm pretty happy with this right now i don't know it's something about having a smaller wheel setup that i don't like it touching against this because in the gap on this side and the gap on this side just gonna look a little too much for me um so i think this is as close as i want it from here to where these gaps actually look normal and uh yeah finally we got the coilovers on the rears installed honestly it wasn't too bad guys other than one nut on this side being stripped out both of them went on perfectly you guys saw that i put that support thing like on this side on the other side as well this will prevent any cracks or anything caused by the coilovers i'm happy to see there's actually no cracks already because if there was cracks guys i would have had to get this thing welded it would have been a whole nother story it would have been a completely different day uh, but thankfully no cracks which is good and we actually just added that support as well to make sure that no cracks ever happen around that area because that is a common weak point right there all right other than we're missing one bolt the rears are complete let's go ahead and try to knock out the fronts now i think honestly the fronts honestly pretty easy i don't think they're too hard on this car honestly this is the thing about older cars they don't make it complicated it should be pretty easy should be pretty straightforward it should be three bolts on the bottom three bolts on the top and that's that now since these coilovers don't come with a top hat we will have to compress the screw the spring and get a new top i mean take our original top hat and put it onto our new coilovers just to put it out there guys if you guys have extra top hats that will prevent you guys from even having to do any of that work. Honestly, I would just order two top hats online if you guys don't want to order the tools to do the job. It's honestly safer. I think the top hats are probably like 20 or 30 bucks each, um, and you could just do both sides. I think the tools are about $60. So honestly, if you guys just want to do it to where it's super safe, super easy, just order the two top hats, OEM top hats, and slap it onto your new coilovers, and then you actually have two complete sets to where if you ever want to go back stock, you don't have to do anything other than just reinstall it. And then if you ever, you could also even sell your old set as a complete thing because people like it when the spring is on there and compressed. But anyways, guys, the fronts are a little bit higher. Now, this is a little too high for me for the fronts. So my goal is to get it pretty much half of this. Um, so that is the goal for the fronts. As for the rears, you guys saw it's already pretty much right here. So that's what I want the fronts to be at. The front is just way too high. I've been literally just going on a fitment rant in the last couple of videos because we got the 335 IS finally perfected. And I'm going to try to make this as perfect as possible. Ooh, this is looking really good. Guys, that is a little too slam for what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise this thing now. And guys, I think I achieved the height I wanted to achieve. It was it took so much playing around with, but look at that. So basically it's about a finger and a half, two fingers in the front. It's about two fingers in the rear. This is what I want. The thing is if I slam the car, that might look better for a little bit, but you can't actually enjoy the car. You have to drive like you're a slam boy. And that's not what I'm trying to do with this thing. But anywho guys, after about four hours of working, that was an absolute absolute mission. I am so, so, so happy. The coilovers are on the car. It actually was a mission success. Very easy on this car. It was way easier than the 335 IS. There was less things that could go wrong. So honestly, really happy with the install. I think it's been some time to give you guys a proper B-roll. And again, I, I need to do this kind of stuff. Like I used to enjoy doing B-rolls and stuff. I don't know what's been happening. I think it's like a daylight savings. It's getting dark and I just can't even do that kind of nice stuff. I can't even get nice thumbnails. So I'm probably going to start uploading like every three days just for a little bit, just so I can kind of get back into the groove of things and get those cinematics in there uh, you know i just want the videos to be more entertaining i believe those cinematics do make all of a difference so uh yeah anywho so you guys can let me know down below but yeah, i'll see y'all tomorrow so i can actually properly show you guys the install because i mean what's the point of doing an install if i can't even show you guys if you know what i mean good night good morning for me uh tomorrow morning and
this is the next day, like I promised you guys. Uh, so I'm actually with the F80 right now, now with the E36 M3. We're gonna get to that in a little bit. I've been trying to find my gloss black grills that I ordered for this thing, and I lost it. And that's one of those things that I have to deal with when I'm moving between two houses all the time. I'm always losing my grills. And also, another thing that I lost this morning was my beard. Yeah, that's gone as well. <laughs> so yeah, another thing though I wanted to knock out before we actually show you guys the suspension on the E36 M3. Jonathan's actually here. He actually drove the car. He said actually there's no rubbing and it feels really, really, really good. Actually, he was really happy with how it drove. So I'm really happy about that because I know as I'm building it, I'm feeling improvements, but he's actually saying, wow, it drives like a race car. So that is the goal of that car. Uh, but yeah, we finally got this cable in. This cable took about a month to come in. Uh, this is actually actually what you need for the heads up display retrofit. So um, obviously we already installed the dashboard and the heads up display. The goal is to see if I can replace this without removing the dashboard uh, because if we have to remove the dashboard again, that's gonna suck. But yeah, we got my boy Johnny over here walking up. Bro, the topic of today's video was the cool lowers on the E36 M3. Oh, How yes. was the drive? Uh, well, since I was the first one to drive it, right? Yeah. It was not rubbing, which is good. And it felt very sturdy, which is great. <laughs> very, Bro, it was a, how was the shifting? Bro. It felt like a race car. It was great. I loved it. So we've achieved what we wanted to achieve, which is... I was like, boom, boom, boom. It felt like, so good, dude. dude. Especially when you slam it in gear, dude. Yeah. It was fun. It was cool. I yeah, so um, first time actually using door door car deletes as well. Yes. What did you think about door car deletes? Do you actually like them, or would you rather keep original door panels? Uh... Because I'm more of an OEM guy, and I actually start missing the door panels, but the door cards do make it feel like a race car. But I like, I like OEM stuff, but once it's like already... The interior's past the point of like... Restoration. Restoration. <laughs> Might as well just do the work card to me. Okay, so that's what you would do. Uh, okay, so we're it, on the right path. It feels like a race car. If that's your goal, if that was the goal, which it was, uh, you have achieved that. So, <laughs> it feels great. I like good, it. guys. I like it. Jonathan's over here right now because he's actually doing some things to his new 335. I cannot wait, bro, when you have your 335 next to my head. Actually, Erlon was his thing. Well, it's going to be so sick having all three of them next to each other. It is, literally, it's going to be sick. Oh. 92, 335. I just realized something. Hold up. Guys, I have to tell Jonathan something that's gonna have to be off camera. So that, what I just told Jonathan right there, that is between us. It's gonna happen on his channel in the near future. So make sure to check out his channel down below. Uh, but anyway, yeah, his build is really coming together. Um, actually, we got some parts for it today as well, um, the other day actually for the car. So it should be coming together sooner than later, but your main goal was to just get the thing aligned, right? Yeah, I, I just, we were driving it. If you guys saw in the last video of my, uh, my video. Yeah. When we gave it any good amount of gas, it like the rear end veered to the right. And it felt like I was like drifting when I wasn't supposed to. So so again, that could be a control arm. Could be or a control arm. worse comes to worse, a subframe. It, it might be the subframe. So we're, he's going to be taking it down to an alignment uh, today. I'm not going to see that on my video. Obviously, that's his channel. But if you guys want to check it out, he's going to be towing it from Erlon's place to the alignment shop and then figuring out what the problem. hopefully it's not subframe damage, bro. Hopefully. I don't think it is. Worst it, comes to worst, the parts are not expensive. It's just the labor. It's difficult. It's yeah, not easy. It's not fun. You got to drop the whole rear end for something like that. But yeah. uh, anyways, guys, wish me luck. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering if the heads-up display works. It does not work with my custom rigged wiring. So we finally got the original harness. Wish me luck. Hopefully, I can get in there and replace it. Five hours later. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. So after finicking with it for a little bit, unfortunately, it's not gonna work. Heads up display is pretty sick and I probably should have waited for that new cable to come in, but honestly, the, core, the thing is we started and I ordered a cable and once we had the dash out of the car, I figured out it was the wrong cable. So, you know, we're, we're not gonna put back the old dash, we're gonna put the new dash in. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we're gonna be taking the E36 M3 to uh, my house, actually, and seeing if I can find my gloss black grills anywhere, because if we could find those and slap those on, it's gonna really transform the front end. I was really hoping that that thing was gonna get wrapped, but uh, it is what it is. Guys, just pulled up to Erlon's place. So many BMWs. I think it's time for that time lapse, I promise y'all. <laughs> 